Okay, are we recording? Yeah, okay. Hey guys, um, back here with uh, another video. Um, so, before the video starts, I wanted to give a shout out to Silver Searcher. Um, he does a bunch of half dollar coin roll hunting. And, uh, yeah, you should go check him out if you like it when other people find silver. I don't know. He, um, he usually does, uh, what do you call it? Customer wrapped rolls, and you could see, like, what are the benefits of that. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, today, um, I'm going to be talking about Euro Coins. So, this is a new series I wanted to start about, um, let's see, about, uh, like, foreign coins. So, like, today is going to be about Euro Coins, and then next time it's going to be about, I don't know, English Pounds. And then, uh, maybe Zimbabwe dollars. <laughs> um, so let me just get this sorted out. Um, so these are all the Euro coins that I have. Uh, well, they're all Euro cent, but I don't have any Euro coins. Um, so the so I'm going to be talking about like what are they made of and like how does it work. <laughs> Um, so the 1, 2, and 5 euro cent coins, they're going to look like this, and they are basically, uh, copper-plated steel. So, I have a magnet right here, and it should, yeah, see, it sticks to a magnet. See, a normal, it won't do that on the table. Yeah. Anyway, um... So next is the um, 10, 20, and 50 euro cent coins. So they are all made of the same material called uh, Nordic gold, which is 89% copper, 5% aluminum, 5% zinc, and 1% tin. Um, oh, and all of these coins started going into circulation in about 2002. But, um, some of, some of the 10, 20, and 50 euro cent coins were made in, um, 1999 and 2000 and 2001, but they weren't necessarily meant for circulation, like, our modern NIFCs, NIFC half dollars, not intended for circulation. But, um, you may find them out there, so, if you're ever going to go to Europe, but... Yeah, um, next is, uh, I don't have any 1 euro, 2 euro coins, like I said, but, um, they are, I'm just gonna, uh, I, I don't have a picture for this, okay, so I have this list right here, this is my notes, um, just so that you guys can see something, so they are, um, the 1 euro coins, they are, like, um, circle, <laughs> And uh, the inside is the inside is more silver colored, and then the outside is more golden colored. And um, so the inner part is copper. So it's um, it has three layers. So it's the the inner part. Here, let me see. Ah, okay. So the first layer on the bottom is um, cooper nickel, which is copper, iron, manganese, and nickel. And then the middle layer is um, nickel, so you have one layer, two layers. And then the top layer is, again, cooper nickel. And that's for the inner part. The outer part is nickel brass, so an alloy of nickel and copper and zinc. Yeah. Brass is copper and an alloy, an alloy of copper and zinc. And then if you mix nickel with that, then you get nickel brass. So they were also made from 2002, and, um, oh, this is the same with, um, uh, the 50, 10, and 20 euro cent coins. Uh, the design changed in 2007. So, right here I have, this is a, actually, let me get a better example. Right here. This is a 50 euro cent coin, but, um, in 2007, they changed this design to, um, so right here, it kind of looks like Europe, right? But all the countries are like broken up. But when they changed it, they um, 
made it like so the countries aren't broken up. So it's basically the Eurozone right here. Um, without the spaces in between the countries. Um, I don't have any 2007 to present coins, so I can't exactly show you that. Um, yeah, and then um, the two euro coins are... Um, the inner part is nickel brass, and then the outer part is cooper nickel, or copper nickel, or uh, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. So then the banknotes, which I don't have any of either, and I'm not going to go into great detail about this, but they have five, five euro banknotes, 10 euro, 20 euro, 50 euro, 100 euro, 200 euro, and 500 euro banknotes. Um, so yeah, and then, um, if you didn't know, they, um, in every country, so <clears throat> this is the French side of, for example, a 50 euro cent coin. And they are the same in all of the countries of the Eurozone. But then if you flip it over, so right here I have, this one's from Italy, because it has the R with a dash through it. Uh, it's a bit worn. But, so that one's from Italy. And then I think, yeah, this one um, right here is from Spain. I don't know if you could see that, but it says España, so most likely from Spain. Um, so yeah, these are both 50 cent euro coin, but they're, the back is different because they were made in different countries. Um, so I'm gonna, so I have one 50 euro cent coin from Spain. I think I have two that are from, yeah, oh, this one's better. See, that's the reverse of the Italy. They're both from Italy. And then... Uh, for the 20 euro cent coin, I think they are, again, are they both? Yeah, these two are both from Italy, too. I don't know why I have so many Italian, but, um, yeah, so they're, yeah. Both from Italy, and both from 2002. And this is a 10 euro cent coin, and I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, it's from Portugal. It's like... It says Portugal on there, but it's kind of hard to read, especially with a camera. And then the two euro cent coin right here, uh, the one that's copper plated steel. Um, it is from, well, it says, it says Zwei, Zwei euro cent, which means two euro cent in Austrian. I don't know. It, it is from Austria, though. So, oh, yeah, it's German. So, okay, that's German for two euro cent. So I hope you guys learned something, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and I'll see you all. See you all later. Bye.